Not the character I expected to get double carnage done, but there it is. Make it triple Deus Ex Machina, double signature move. Those are some awesome cards mastered. Ooh, choose a rare card is a very good start when it comes to this mastery challenge because getting two copies of a rare is rather difficult. We've seen multiple occasions where we've failed to get the second copy, even if we start with one. So you really have the best chance getting one from floor one here. And I'm more than willing to take damage on the Watcher. She often has health to spare in Act 1, particularly against the Hexaghost, um, and particularly, particularly against Slime Boss, who she crushes. But Hexaghost is not a fight that really requires a lot of health. So I'm happy to give some up here in order to get either Judgment, Blasphemy, or Brilliance. Hmm. An interesting set of options. I actually do like Judgment quite a lot as a, an early card. A lot of enemies have less than 30 health this early, and it's not that difficult to get other enemies down to 30 health. I don't think any of these cards have uh, been acquired in duplicate. I'm feeling the Judgment. Let's judge Twitch chat. Let's do it. Let's see here. What path do we want to take? Actually, I think with the judgment in hand, I'm less afraid of an elite than normal. Although, as usual for Watcher, I would like to remove one of my defends in order to make this a little bit more smooth. We could even do a double shop act one. Tempting. Depending on what the events are, actually, we may or may not go to that store. Probably one of these two paths then. Uh, and I'd like to do three elites here. We, again, uh, do... Yes, we do not... No, we don't have to go through that store. So we could either... Oh, but if I want to do two elites, I have to go through that store. Yes, so we want to go through the store. So then, our path is fairly well settled. The main question is, do we go to this store or not? And we'll, we'll evaluate that based on the events. Let's begin. Ravenock, thanks for 10 months. I had an absolutely wonderful time off. I'm really excited to uh, kind of go hard at the stream as we launch into the year here. Ooh, just a little bit too much health. Jawworm. But not this time. Judged. I think we'll find in general that the uh, Judgment becomes a really good finisher card. And actually, we haven't removed any defense yet. We have a non-attack card that kills stuff. And the only attack card we're being offered in the first card reward is Signature Move. Call that a confluence of factors. I love it. That is really exciting. If we take the signature move, it actually becomes more beneficial to remove strikes than defense, and the goal becomes draw this as the only attack and play it for absolutely enormous damage. Let's do it. Signature move is a card that's quite difficult to make work, but when it works, oh boy, does it ever work. And I think that answers the question of do we go to the store or not? Let's take the 150 gold from the serpent and cash out here. We can also trade health for a relic. This could be a really short run if I greed this too hard. Um, I do have a rest site available. We can do at least three clicks, right? One, two, two clicks to get a Tori. Excellent. Whenever we would take five or less unblocked attack damage, knock it down to one. Very useful against Hexaghost uh, and probably more things besides. Hmm. Hand of Greed. Can't afford Hand of Greed card remove. Hmm. Don't really want Hand of Greed with Signature Move anyway. What does pair really nicely with Signature Move is zero cost attacks, because then it's never something you have to spend energy on trying to get out of your hand. So I actually really like Swift Strike here, ah. alongside Signature Move. Flurry of Blows is also fine. Foresight's pretty good, too. As Foresight can help set up judgments and Signature Moves and such. Do you ever proactively buy Chemex? I think it could be worth it, particularly on Silent, uh, and maybe on Defect, but I really don't think it's worth it on Ironclad or Watcher to buy preemptively. Ironclad, because he's only got one X-cost card, uh, whereas Defect and Silent both have three. Uh, Watcher has two, but they're not very good cards. 
uh, Collect and Conjure Blade. So I really don't like the Chemex on her very much. Whirlwind Chemex is real spicy, but you're at, you're at about 50-50 odds to just not even find a Whirlwind, so you might just dump a whole bunch of money into absolutely no benefit. And then you're rather behind from there. I am going to buy the Swift Strike. Do we want any of these potions? I don't think so. The one potion I have is good enough to get started here. Okay, that's a good shop. I'm not going to buy Reach Heaven. What about Foresight? Do we pay for it? No, because I have another shop coming up. Aha! Let the boopening begin. Actually, I could just full block. That does seem like it's better, huh? Who needs to take one when you could take zero? So strike won't kill, so let's just do something like this. Could have done one more by playing that on the inverted targets, but judgment don't care. San and Diab, thanks for three moons of support, three months. Ooh, Indignation, a non-attack card that works with Signature Move and can apply Vulnerable alongside Eruption. I actually rather like that as a second Wrath card here. Very exciting. Empty Mind's also not bad. I am going to take Indig. Indignation, Signature Move is a go. And I'm actually tempted to upgrade Judgment as our first upgrade, but it seems pretty reasonable to upgrade Eruption to try to make the signature move work. So let's take an Eruption here. Upgrade. Make that go from two to one cost. And I'm hoping these two potions should be enough to get through two Elites. That's a little questionable, actually. Especially depending on who the Elites are. But if we're lucky, I'm going to draw Eruption, Indignation... Signature move, Judgment, Defend, or Ascender's Bane, and we're going to absolutely slap. Close. Close, but no cigar. Hmm. That would be my turn next turn, huh? Let's see. So if I eruption... Sig move, we do 60. If I use the Fear Potion, we instantly kill it. Hmm. Well then, let's do that. Prepare to die. Beep. Judged. The boot. We would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, up it to five. And we even got another potion, down to 10% potion chance here. Offered a mental fortress, an evaluator or a windmill strike. Definitely don't like windmill strike with signature move. The others are... Kind of take it or leave it. It seems a little early for a Mental Fortress, especially if we are not removing defends in this deck. But it's definitely the sort of thing that tends to be useful later in the run. This is a Pressure Points deck. This is something that could transition into taking a Pressure Points. Tasserie, thanks for five months. Did I hear about the Ironclad who's fed on too many Act 3 Elites? He had to take some Repto Bismol. <laughs> love it. I love it. I'm not taking that Metal Fortress. I think it's too early in the morning for that card. Have a bit bad. And get not judged. Disappointing. 20 bucks. Sanctity or Prostrate are definitely things I like here. Thinking Sanctity, block and card draw. We've got a lot of skills in the deck, and we're going to keep it that way because of the signature move. Very tempting. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, we didn't take any damage. I think we're definitely on track for the next Elite then. Good. Keep going. Boat thingy. 18 block on turn 3. One of the better relics, in my opinion. When we looked at our uh, data review of 400 heart kills in 2022, this consistently stood out as one of the most successful relics in the game. And uh, so it's very exciting to find here. 
turn three is often a turn you want to be blocking on, and the, the sheer quantity of block, 18, is really helpful. In particular, I find this is exceptionally useful in Act 2 against the various encounters there. In the hallway fights, particularly Chosen will always attack you on turn three for a large amount. Spheric Guardian attacks on turn three for a large amount. It's always nice against the Shelled Parasite. So the data review going to be posted on YouTube. It should indeed be up there soon, if it's not already. Kind of fell out of touch with the YouTube while I was on break. Got to tune back in there. Now just lament, only generally worth it if you can snipe an elite. That's that's my opinion of it. Only generally worth it. It it can be nice um, on Ironclad to take damage in early events if you got a whole bunch of events early on, but it's it's really not that good unless you're getting a relic out of it. And max health is is often easy to underrate. It's pretty good to have more max HP. Let's see, am I using an explosive potion here? This would be the obvious fight to use it in. I have two more chances at another potion before the next elite if I want. Yeah, let's might as well. And that lets me be a bit more optimal with my damage here. Beep. I don't think there's a way to get them both here. But we can do something like Strike, Judge, draw cards, and then Miracle Defend to full block if I want. Yeah, might as well. Take nothing here. Have I ever had a map with a chance for a boss snipe? I think I've had a map with a chance, but I don't think I took the path that had the chance. And I've never successfully gotten a boss snipe uh, randomly. That is a really badly timed mob bank, unfortunately. That might mean we don't spend any money in the store. We'll see. This is not bad with signature move. Zero cost attacks. How's it going, higher ed? I was in the Canadian Rockies. It's quite a trip. The gorgeous Rocky Mountains. Mist shrouded and snow capped. Quite a sight. Yes, we've done we've done seeded runs that let me snipe the boss, but I've never randomly encountered a seed uh, with a boss snipe. Do much hiking? No, not this time of year. Well, heck no. <laughs> way too, way too icy for that. Did get to do some ice skating though, which was a, which was a delight. Jasper. Hmm. Six damage headed our way. That's a little tricky. Can't just defend, defend our way out of it. Can't just eruption strike our way out of it either. Bummer. It, you, I guess. Exactly, Azuki. Act 1 is definitely about prepping your deck for uh, for Act 2, in addition to being able to beat the Act 1 boss. So even if you beat the Act 1 boss for 3, that means you've gotten a maximum of 3 card rewards for the Act. 2 regular card rewards and 1 rare. Very tricky to have Act 2 start successfully if you do that. Not impossible, but very tricky. Oh dear. Hmm. Seems like quite the turn. See what Vigilance Sanctity gets me? Question mark? Yeah, let's see what that gets me. Okay, Swift Strike lets me kill this one, then we're perfectly blocking. Good. I've got a head boot. Was there a turn one boot kill? Maybe I missed it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, Flex Pot's not bad. Deus Ex Machina, an interesting rare to be offered. I like it alongside Sanctity, and I like it for making sure we can play the signature move. And the other cards are bad, so yeah. 
Why not? Ooh, bag of preparation in exchange for Ma Bank. Probably. Turn one draw is some of the best draw you can get, that's for sure. So, very hard to turn down the bag of prep. Waffle, not too bad in this position. Because we're fighting Hexagos as our Act 1 boss, though, I think it's a little bit unnecessary. Bowling Bash isn't bad? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, in this context, I just mean a lot in terms of uh, how they fit the deck. And Bowling Bash, I think a little bit redundant with Judgment and definitely not plays nicely with Signature Move. In general, though, I do like Bowling Bash quite a lot as a card. Really good answer to multi-enemy fights. Slavers, Grim Leader, Reptomancer especially. Do I want an Empty Feast? It is nice to have when all I've got is Wrath, but Empty Fist and Signature Move do not like each other very much. Forcing me to exit Wrath before I can play the Signature Move does not seem like quite what I want to be doing. Since I do have two full potion slots, I'm going to go straight for the Elite here, which is a Gremlin Knob. And Gremlin Knob's about to have a really bad time. So like an Eruption, Indignation, Miracle, Swift Strike, Strike, Strike. Or something. Let's see, that would deal 9 plus 18. Actually, let's do it. It's 89 minus 9, 18 from the strike, 21 from the swift strike, 41 minus another 18. So we either bring him very low, or I think we have a turn one KO if I use the flex potion. Shouldn't be necessary, though. So I think we can kill with signature move. So I think I get to keep the flex potion here, although there is a turn one KO with it. Total misplay. Thanks for the 10 months in the Prime sub. Keep. Appreciate you keeping it cozy. Be vulnerable. You beast. Am I keeping Miracle? No, I'm using it. Boop. Slay the Relic's currently on or off. It should be on. We'll check this. Frozen Egg. Okay, glad I didn't take the Mental Fortress earlier. Now, if we see one, they'll be upgraded. Although it's an attack, I do like Cut Through Fate a lot, generally speaking. It's been down. Or stream. Let me see if it's on on my end, then. Let's see, we have Slay the Relics on. Let's see... Like the relics is set as overlay one. Hmm. Mod the spire report. Hello. I don't know where my mod the spire window went. So the relics went down last night. Says lurking fool. Got it. Seems like it might be another. Interruption. Sad to see it happen so soon. These things are such tricky things to maintain, though. I'm not too surprised. Let's take a cut through fate. Let's do it. And let's kill a slime. Big slime. I know, not a derailment at all, Jubal. I, I appreciate knowing that it's not functioning. You won't certainly. You might be the first to ask, but you certainly won't be the last. All right, we have too many miracles. Let's draw some cards. Not the ideal use of judgment. I'm okay with that. Could have spent one energy to bank two. Was it worth it? I don't think so. Because I only needed the one. Also, that slime is super dead. Second cut through fate feels like too much. Definitely don't want Conclude with Signature Move. You can't play Signature Move as long as Conclude is in your hand. If you play the Conclude, well, your turn's over. That's a big non-bow. Do not take. Go Swift Pot over Skill Pot. Skill Pots are really, really unreliable. Never really liked them. Wolf FS, thanks for the Prime Sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. 
Did we upgrade the signature move or the judgment? I, I think for Hexaghost, we, we're relying on the signature move because we can't judge a boss with 264 hit points. So this has got to be the card we upgrade and rely on to kill the boss. At least bring the boss into judgment range anyway. Could look for a Wrath entry here. I'm actually not afraid of Wrath this early because we have the... Although it's three by six, right? So I can't just enter Wrath willy-nilly, actually. Well, in that case, let's just play the signature move for 40. Show me... Block cards, I guess. Sure. Yeah, why not? Could play Strike with a Miracle. Defend is what? Saving not very much because of Tori. Rather keep the energy for later in this fight then. Trendy Kendi, thanks for 37 months of support. You're in your prime, that's right. Prime time to be here. Crime, but not a crime. So, Hexaghost attacks for six, then six by two. So if I enter Wrath here, I'm gonna have a bad time. Let's go Indignation, play the attacks, and then Vigilance. Because next turn will be really problematic if we're in Wrath. Just open the attack pattern for Hexaghost. So it's Seer, Tackle, Seer, and Plane, Tackle, Seer. So six, then six by two, then six, then the buff turn, nine by two, and nine are the turns for Hexaghost. Hexaghost always does the exact same things in the exact same order, which can make it a really predictable fight uh, and gives you a really good idea of how much health you're going to need a lot of times, too, which I really like. That sure is a hand. We don't want to draw an attack, and I can play both miracles to get the signature move down. This is a good turn for the flex potion, even though I won't be in wrath. Ace Kev, Tyler MTC, and it's Chili Chili. Thank you all for the support. A cumulative 81 months between the three of you. Holy heck. Does the Chosen's magic only work on living things, or could they hex a ghost? All right, we could play Eruption, but then this becomes 12 by two and we are become die. So I don't want to do that right now. Thanks though. Here I should be able to enter Wrath. We Eruption, Defend Sanctity or Defend Sanctity Eruption? I think I want the Eruption back in the draw pile here. Take one more here. Was Eruption lethal, though? That's a question I probably should have asked. Uh, the better question is, is Judgment lethal? We got 14 plus 18, which is 32. It's not enough to kill. But it is if I draw a Swift Strike. Aha! All right, we're through. GG. Definitely might have been a better line through that Hexaghost fight. I am sleep-deprived AF. Double deuce. Wait, I think that means something different. Um, double deus ex machina is a card I, we have not won with yet. So that's certainly worth considering here. More generally speaking, I think Omniscience is a good card here because it allows us to duplicate a card in the draw pile. Double signature move in particular can be an instantaneous fight ender, which is well worth thinking about here. And it's quite easy to play because of the additional miracles. However, the mastery challenge does say that it's wise to pick up the duplicate.
we take the second Deus Ex Machina, which a little bit more tolerable thanks to Bangat preparation. Uh, we'll be able to spend lots of energy, but in order for that to be good, we'll need more card draw. JMac, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Let's try it. Double Deus Ex Machina. Into either Ectoplasm, Violet Lotus, or Astrolabe. Well, here's my thought. One, we don't want our strike cards. And two, I have tons of energy in the form of these cards. So rather than taking more energy in the form of Ectoplasm, which carries a penalty, or the Violet Lotus, which only works with one card in the deck currently, what about Astrolabe? Transform some stuff. Do two signature moves in hand preclude each other? Yes. If you have two in your hand, you cannot play either. That said, I once played a custom run where I had six or seven copies of signature move and made it work. It was really fun. It was really fun. Let's transform some cards. Oh, we get the third Davis Axe. I knew it. I knew I should have taken that omniscience. All right, well, we've got the triple deuce. So we got a foreign influence, which is nice because it's an attack card hidden inside a skill card, which is great for signature move. And a perseverance, perseverance, which retains to gain block. Not too bad with the bag of preparation. Triple your machina. I almost want to remove one of them. A bit awkward. Ooh, this act looks relatively abundant, let's call it. Elites galore. We could actually take four if we wanted to, although I'm not sure we should. Just saying that we could. And we can go to a shop early on, too, where I could remove either one of these uh, Deus Ex Machinas or the Strike. Treus Ex Machina. Treus Deus. Rick and Eddie, thanks for 51 months. The half century mark and counting. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming. It's a pretty good use case for Master Reality, right? With this many miracles being generated. Yeah, Dead Branch is, is definitely the card that would absolutely transform this run. Or Shurzies. Holy moly, it would. What upgrades do I want? Judgment is still yet to be upgraded. That would be really nice for this act. Uh, which makes me want to go maybe this way? I would not mind maybe fighting the Burning Elite. Let's mark both of these. We'll see how we feel when we get there. It'll depend on our health. It'll depend on our potions. It'll depend on the birds. Greetings, bird nerds. Six energy, huh? So I can go Indignation, Signature Move, and then back into Calm. I like it. Good job, Miracles. So this does a full 40 damage. I can kill any bird I want. Especially you, middle bird. Get out of here. Excuse you. And now you, front bird, be gone. Oh, wait, that's free. Whoops. Grab that. Was it upgraded for an influence for a second? Excuse me. Not that we needed. Hey, there's a second one. Hmm. Double foreign influence. I'm quite sure we haven't mastered that yet, right? Let me double check that. We've got a command for it, right? Mastered foreign influenza. Nope. Cool. Let's get a second copy bit. Yoink. Aha. Maybe. Toolbox? Toolbox is also pretty interesting, especially with all these uh, extra energies. Having something to spend it on on turn one is very appealing. Hello and welcome, Marky Mark. Glad the YouTube videos have been helping you climb that ascension ladder. Glad to have you here. Currently working on our Slay the Spire Mastery Challenge, where I'm trying to win Slay the Spire against the Hard on A20 with all of the different cards in the game in duplicate. 
So we need separately a run that wins with two deus ex machinas, two foreign influences, two indignations, so on and so forth. Each run trying to cross off as many cards as possible. I'll take a toolbox here. That makes me feel better about the elite. The burning elite, that is. Ooh. Better about this fool, too. Panic button. Leaves me with a void next turn. I don't care. There might not even be a next turn, actually. I should have done that differently. Let's see. I can skip, though. I'm allowed to skip. Do it. Ambrosia, Enter Divinity Stance, on demand. Okay, that all but assures this Burning Elite is super dead. And there's an Empty Body Plus, an upgraded stance exiting card, which I think is exceptional here. Been looking for a non-attack card that exits Wrath, so I'm allowed to play it after the signature move. And finally, we have it. Shelled Parasite is immediately back, but with a friend this time. Do I seek with Secret Weapon, or do I take the Panic Button again? Tough call, actually. I'll take the panic button again. Hmm. Lots of energy to work with here. Round two. Now, yeah, Pothios is also incredible with the miracles. That's true. Indignation is in my hand. Hey, there's signature move. Got it. And again, the turn one kill. Beautiful. So I guess it really didn't matter. <laughs> Once again, I, we, we win without even using the panic button. But I guess that's more a sign that I should have taken it, right? Because we we had the kill without the apotheosis, without the master strategy. And if we didn't have a kill, then we were certainly going to want that panic button. Higher Ed, thanks for two months. It's good to be back. Sure is. Attack Potion over Swift Pot. For the Burning Elite, yes. Attack Pot might save me the Ambrosia. Ah, and we get to either remove a card or upgrade all our strikes and defense. Thing is, we don't actually have very many strikes and defense. Well, we have one strike and four defense. I'd rather get rid of that last strike. I meant to do it at the shop, but, well, turn one relics have prevailed. Toolbox, bag of prep over card removes. And honestly, I'm glad to have done that, because if we kept buying removes, then buying the money from the serpent would have been kind of bad in the long run. So keeping the removals nice and cheap means we can get more as we progress. And that's great. We're also finally going to upgrade the Judgment, increasing the threshold by 10. Makes it a lot more broadly effective. Uh, it'll be nice for killing the Orbs of the Bronze Automaton in particular. And we're offered Ritual Dagger, a card that we can permanently upgrade by getting a kill with it. Thing is, Ritual Dagger plus Signature Move is going to be very awkward. I can't play the Signature Move until I've used the Ritual Dagger. But if I use the Ritual Dagger before the Signature Move, I'm not likely to get a kill with it. Hmm. That makes me want to take 50 gold here. An offensive version of Panic Button. So, like, do, do more damage this turn, but you can't do any damage next turn. Hmm. I think that'd be pretty good, because just like, it'd, it'd be kind of like Blasphemy, right? But with a much less harsh downside than Blasphemy. You can use it to finish the fight with no consequence whatsoever. Or you can also use it to get more damage this turn if you know you're not drawing damage next turn. So I think it'd be very good, especially if it was free. What does the 30% at the top right indicate? This is our chance of finding a potion after a combat. This is displayed by a mod called Info Mod, which I've started to use on stream for a bit more uh, information display. All right, this time I'll take the Apotheosis. See how it goes. Yeah, that looks pretty good. 
That looks pretty good to me. All these miracles are about to say Bluce, and so is the card from this attack potion, which I'll use here to probably save the Ambrosia. Some kind of super flex. Brilliance does 16, Flying Sleeves Plus does 12, or I can talk to the hand for some block, but there's really not going to be that much block. Give me the Brilliance. Oh, hand size! Oh no! I've made a terrible mistake. Well, there's an upgraded Brilliance in the discard pile. That's Sleep Deprived Baylor for you. Whoops. Uh, let's do Indignation first. We don't need them vulnerable. Slightly embarrassing, but only slightly, when you draw this card. I gotta know, how does Scrape work with Deus Ex Machina? We'll never know. enough. The Booterang is good, though. Actually, I have to play a Miracle so I don't miss a card draw next turn. Thanks, Tori. Yeah, I, I, I think it should exhaust before it gets discarded. So it should, it should just work the way you want it to. Helix is incredible. Prevent the first instance of health loss. Don't think we want a Flurry Plus or a Sash Whip Plus, but they're they're borderline cards. Lurking Fool says cards Gremlins and Downfall have similar cards that do that. Cool. Yeah, Ceramic Fish gold per card we add. A little bit late Ceramic Fish. This would still be easily ninety plus gold. So enough money to buy most of a relic at a shop, but we can probably do better taking the Sapphire Key. Let's try to do better. This also lets me take Cursed Key from the boss more easily. Let's see. Yeah, two elites. I could also go this way for the same nodes, but the event is... earlier, and the combat is... No, uh, this way the event's earlier, this way the combat's earlier. We have, have a mission missing potion slots. So let's take the fight first. These two nerds. Ooh, let's make some money. Hand agreed. Let's go. Oh, I've got buffer. Perfect. So I can just hand agreed the mystic this turn. Sign me up. Give me your money. Normally advise against killing Mystic first, because then the Centurion gets aggro. And we'll start to uh, do some nasty multi-hit stuff. Aha! Oh! Oh, I didn't think it was going to do that. We get the miracles, and it doesn't exhaust. Did anyone predict that? Yeah, Lurking Fool said they would exhaust. But Byronium said you get the miracles and Deus doesn't exhaust. And that was correct. So Byronium had the right explanation there. They doesn't exhaust and you get the miracles. That's pretty cool. Wait a minute, that's cheating. You're gosh darn right it is. And I love it. Let's see, we need to get either the... Visual on, so the empty body. There it is. Good. Good. Could, of course, kill the Centurion here, but then I wouldn't be here come rich, so I don't want to do that. I want to be fabulously wealthy, of course. Be 
Beautiful. Foresight Plus. Scry four every turn. That is definitely a card we've been waiting for. Foresight is going to make it a lot easier to set up uh, judgments that are effective. It's going to help us avoid drawing a handful of defends on an enemy's buff turn. It's going to help us make sure we don't get stuck in Wrath a lot more easily. It's quite good, especially with the free upgrade here. So very, very happy to have such a card. Any deck that on Watcher that's not trying to go infinite really likes a copy of this card. I particularly like that uh, if you can get it into your hand on turn one, it can scry away the burns added by Spire Spear on turn two of the Elite Fight for the Heart. And that can make a huge difference in what is normally a very difficult combat. I feel like we probably get to upgrade this Foreign Influence here, make another zero cost immediate card, might as well. It's actually not a bad spot to recall either. Gremlin Leader. Soon to be Gremlin Bleeder. Being attacked on turn one, this enemy cannot attack twice in a row. Definitely makes me want to take Panic Button. Although Panache against the Gremlins is pretty spicy too. I think Judgment will serve just fine. Just fine. Let's even just straight up use it, because there's no reason not to. Perfect. Oh wait, um... Could have done that a little better. I can't stay in Wrath this way, but whatever. I've got enough miracles, it won't matter. Well, I can't play this now? Hmm. Unless... Beanfire. Curious. Take a reach of in here. Hand of Greed's back. So we have Toolbox and Ford Influence that can both generate Hand of Greed. We're probably going to see that card a few times this run. Excuse you. I didn't say you could do that. Judged. Wing boots allow us to ignore paths when choosing the next room to travel to. Oh my. That could be quite useful in Act 3. Oh, I missed the hand agreed. I did. I did. Vault gives us a whole extra turn. And a good one at that. Vault allows you to activate any beginning of turn effect, notably the foresight in this deck. Ooh, instant punish on the hand agreed. Prismatic Shard. Prismatic Shard is here. How curious. Makes it more difficult to get double judgment, but think of the fun we could have. Why is Hand Agreed exempt from the no meta progression on card generation rule? I think kind of a, just an oversight. Same way that Exhume isn't excluded, although it really ought to be. Am I allowed to master cards from other characters with a shard? I sure am. Also consider buying Master of Strategy. It's genuinely pretty good. Griffington, thanks for the 11 months. Especially with all these uh, Deus Ex. A one-time card draw card is very good here. Hmm. But we gotta take the shard, right? We gotsta. There's always another Master of Strategy around the corner. Or something. Ooh, Discovery Panache. Let's take Panache. We got a lot of miracles in this deck. Get some good old AOE. I'm not even gonna think twice before entering Wrath. I'm just gonna do it. Don't worry about it. Make it happen. Corsair seems genuinely good though. So it's always Reach Heaven actually for free, especially because I get could draw it into it immediately. Let's take the Reach Heaven here. Heal this fool. That's pretty good. Try 
truly beauteous time. Need to do one damage to you? That shouldn't be too hard, right? There we go. One damage. We get a white bee statue, ensuring that our potions will never again fail to drop. We always get a potion after every fight. And look, we instantly get a slightly worse Sanctity, or maybe slightly better, depending on how you view it. Draw two, gain five block. Exactly the sort of card this deck wants right now is more card draw. The Backflap. Sender's also interesting with Watcher, although I think oddly similar to Judgment, right? It's fun. The Flapjack. Let's upgrade the Vault. We could also upgrade one of the Deus Ex, although actually with the hand space restriction that we have, I think the Deus Ex are rather worse. Let's upgrade the Vault. Take an extra turn. Does the Backflip mod work on other characters? Asking the important questions here. My guess would be yes. But who knows? Secrete weapon. Let's do it. The backflip mod makes uh, the, the silence character model actually do a backflip whenever you play the card backflip. One of the earliest and simplest mods on uh, Slay the Spire Steam Workshop. It's an oldie but a goodie. Take some more of those. Give me that. Bonk. And let's take the Thunderclap over the Beam Cell here. Do I want to Miracle and Sanctity? Not particularly. Hmm, maybe I should have played Vigilance. Oh dear. That certainly is a hand. This could save me a little bit. Take that. Um, this might be one of those fights where we can just ignore the central boss and uh, ignore the minions rather and target the boss. There we go. Okay, we block. Not enough to actually save our buffer, unfortunately. So we are going to take a full 16 damage here. Bummer. Could use the Ambrosia to prevent that, but it's really unnecessary. I'm going to steal the Judgment and the Vault. That is sad. And I want to play this anyway, so might as well. Ouch! Alright, can't get stuck in Wrath for another attack turn, though. That's very clear to me. Perfect. So he should play this empty body, yeah. Hmm. Incoming damage is a full 40 here. Rather tricky, actually. Even with as many miracles. Well, I'll play all the miracles, though. Let's do it. Save all the health here. Quite close to getting the kill, after all. No major attacks. Perfect. That's all it takes. GG. Routine sadness. One away from three years. Thanks for 35 months of support. There is the Master Reality offering to upgrade all of these miracles and the cards generated by Foreign Influence. How curious. There's also Immolate for a massively powerful area damage card or Electrodynamics if I want to zap everything with a less powerful area damage card. That is a pretty tempting Master Reality. Some of the colorless cards that we can get from Toolbox also generate more cards. We can also get potions that generate cards. I'm going to do it. 
taking an upgraded master reality here. I'm not going to take this Neko Eye, but I did say taking the blue key lets us take a Cursed Key, and that's quite reasonable here. Cursed Key. One more base energy per turn, with the downside of a penalty for opening a non-boss chest. Otherwise, we're either no longer obtaining potions, or we're having our cards a random cost with this Neko Eye, and that is very bad with this deck. Honestly, the base 7 draw is also kind of a problem with the Deus Ex. Yeah, the Wing Boots might also allow us to open the chest if we want to. Yeah, Sozu White Beast statue, no thank you. I'll take that cursed key quite happily. So, what have we got for our act layout? I'm thinking we should take a lot of elites this act. Unfortunately, looking at their placement, the Wing Boots don't do anything for us. Bummer. At least in terms of getting more elites. The shame. Skip seems like the second best choice there. Uh, you, you're not wrong. One extra elite. Well, compared to going this way, I suppose, but... Oh yeah, there's one extra here. No, you're right. Yes, we can get one extra elite. Aha! Excellent. So, do I want early events? There's definitely some very good events. The look at three colors card event is great here. The Mind Bloom and Double Orb Walker events are also great here. We start something like this. Get these three elites. And then we can jump to one of these two. Yeah, not a lot of use for the wing boots, but we could also go to the shop if we want to. Another reasonable option. Take this. Oh, you're just dead. All right, well. Good riddance. Wait. Aha! Ha <laughs> ha I knew it. Oh, wait. Hmm. But then, now we can make this work. We can make this work. We got buffer. We're good. The redemption. Don't play the judgment. Do you play the empty body? Yes. Do you play the empty body? Easy. Wait. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it. Not easy. I repeat, it is not easy. The boot has betrayed us, Twitch chat. I picked the wrong card there. It was Dagger Spray. It was the correct one. Boot, you traitor. Hmm. Gamble or Pommel Strike Plus? Calculated Gamble with Miracles seems particularly ridiculous. Let's do it. Sleepy Baylor, no. Lord Red Mask, no. Hey, there's the glowing Tesseract. That's what I want to see. What do you got? Hand of Greed for real. Master Strategy or Panache Plus. Panacea. Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades with Master Strategy. There we go. Or, er, sorry, with uh, Master Reality. This will create upgraded colorless cards. Take the Jack. Take the Master. And do I want Hand of Greed? It's a little late, but it's still kind of a good card here. The panic button's also rather nice. So is Trip, honestly. Hmm. Choices, choices. Let's do it. Let's take a trip. A trip to where? Doesn't matter. I'll take one more event. We haven't seen double orb walkers or mind bloom. There they are. Lots of money and a rare relic. I'm in. I'm so in. Technique or weapon? Technique, for sure. So you got vault and more. Or I could just fetch master strategy. Boomer plus. 
Also rebound, something spicy. But I'm seeking for vaults, so. But yeah, I'll rebound the, no, 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 play the boomerang. Turn. Empty Fist does the most damage. Not quite enough for a KO, unfortunately. Pretty good, though. Signature move, judge this one. I want one energy and a lot of cards. It's wrong, I wanted two energy. That works though. Or does it? Fantasy of Blues. Well, that's what the buffer is for. Ow. All right, here we go. Library FTW, thanks for the seven months. You're so welcome for the cozy educational streams. You went 14 out of 20, 20 heart kills with Ironclad, thanks to learning better boss relic selection and store moves from the stream. That's awesome. It's a crazy amount of uh, kills there. And how's it going, Skips Oran? Welcome. Welcome to the show. Do we want a Carnage in this deck? Slaps pretty hard. Good with Trip, great with Wrath. A little weird with Signature Move, but not that weird. And we do need a few more ways to lower enemy health. Take a Carnage. And sure, we'll see what the shop has. Why not? Take a peek. Aha! Dolly's Mirror. I was wondering if we'd see it this run. Dolly's Mirror allows us to copy any card in the deck, if we wish. There are a few good candidates. Judgment Plus, this might be the run. Especially since we have a second chance at life with the Lizard Tail. We could also copy the signature move. Now that's spicy. This is actually one of the best runs for a double signature move. Because we have the Calculated Gamble. And we can find discard stuff with the, with the... Yeah, let's do it. Double signature move. Plus. Could have also gone double jack of all trades here. That's going to be another one that's tiff, tough to get mastered. All right. Thinking ahead could also work. <laughs> Just keep making more of them. It's fine. Never had a problem in my life. Sure is a lot of miracles and a, not a lot of anything else. Since I'm getting a potion every combat, let's let's do let's do here. Let's do use a potion. Dang, that's a lot of damage. Panic button plus. Beep. 
Would Double Mass Reality work on String Blow in theory? No, it does not work that way, unfortunately. This deck does not want a bullet time. The Mass Reality effect cannot stack with itself. Hmm, how many upgrades do I want? I could trade events for upgrades. I actually would like to upgrade the Jack of All Trades, and I certainly wouldn't mind upgrading Calculator Gamble. Let's do it. Let's get some upgrades in here with the Wing Boots. This one first. Reptomancer. Shouldn't be too difficult here. Straight for Repto initially. This turn, I think, the killing the daggers is a good idea. Wrath? Yes. Mind Blast plus the power. Behold my gigantic brain. Instantly died a signature move. A bag of marbles for vulnerable on turn one. Offer to protect plus that I don't think we want. That's right. Uh, using secret technique to fetch Deus Ex Machina does not work because when you use secret technique, the card is added to your hand rather than being drawn. So on draw effects like the Deus Ex or Sneko randomization both don't apply. So we don't want to open this, right? No, we don't. This will give us a curse, and it's a small chest with a commoner, maybe an uncommon relic if we're lucky. No thanks. However, I will take a free remove. Oof, no I won't. That's not free. That's very bad. Both of those cards are big enablers for the signature move. I guess I'll lose the Calc Gamble, but I'm not going to like it. At all. Ouch. Should have taken a fight there. Third elite is the Nemesis. No discovery on this one. Don't draw the other signature move. Pro tip. Do draw the boot, though. 90. Good thing I've got buffer. It's a big number. Beep. Get a dream catcher offering us a card award if we rest, which we probably won't. I will take that regen potion because we're not at full health. Do not want this, this, or this. So we said we wanted upgrades. We do. Um, let's recall first so I have more options. That way I can upgrade the card I get from the last elite if I want to. But only if I want to. Hmm. So buffer will stop this hit? I guess that's fine.
228 damage. Immolate. Bonk. Supposed to use the regen potion, though. Try to remember to do that. Double carnage. Interesting. It's not mastered. Actually pretty good, too. Second backflap, also quite nice. Take the carnage. Might be a few too many cards, though. We gotta be careful here. Hmm. Also, I need one more fight to actually use this regen potion effectively. Okay. Take a combat. This is a good one. Drink the potion. There we go. Successful chugging. And we get to hand agree too. The power. Discover signature move. And play it. Good talk. Foresight being on the bottom here, but what can you do? All right, now the goal is don't draw two signature moves at the same time. Do kill them with hand agree. should be able to guarantee draw this turn. There we go. 20 more bucks. Fire potion is not the ideal potion. That's all right. Do I want a reinforced body? That's kind of tempting. Static discharge with Tori also hilarious. Going into heart. Not necessarily useful, but definitely hilarious. Is hand agreed not exhausted? It does not. the reinforced. Yeah, we definitely need some more block options for heart, and the reinforced body is particularly good at that. I like it with an upgrade, especially. Maybe that's my upgrade over master strategy. I think so. I think so. Bomb? Actually pretty cool for this fight. Kill the birds quite nicely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Don't know if I'm playing this signature move. I am going to play this Master Reality. Even though it's a power. Nice-ish. So we either buffer or use the panic button. Buffer's going to be more useful now. I don't even need the bomb if I just kill the birds immediately. Although I could do Carnage, Signature Move, Bomb. Put all the damage on the boss here. Perhaps that's wiser. Oh, we have Enlighten! How did I miss that? Okay, good. Uh, and if I'm buffering, I'm also allowed to use the Indignation here for big damage on the bird. Let's do it. The faster I get through this fight, the better. Could, uh, next turn, we always have the Ambrosia no matter what. Chat saves Tired Baylor from Wasting Miracles. Good thing for Empty Body, huh? That helps. 
Not as bad as it looks. In fact, I think this will reduce the damage enough to... Oops, order. No, not quite to get Tori involved, because we gave it strength. Fair enough. Uh, that's... Yeah, that's mostly fine. Not ideal, but mostly fine. So I could kill the bird nerd now. That would make next turn pretty bad, though. We gotta get... Uh, oh, the bomb's going off, though. So actually, let's do it. Strike plus, or blood for blood plus. That's always free. It's a pummel. Nine times five is enough. Works for me. Snack packs, thanks for the 13 months. The overdue baby bursary. Wouldn't tell that baby to hand in its term paper. Time's up. Hmm, bolt or body? Hit the scry in play. I think I'm just gonna play the reinforced body. 36, we need one more. The scry trigger, trigger sneaky strike. No, unfortunately. Discarding with Scry does not count for Sneaky Strike. I think we do that. Play those. Just take one. Good. Vaulting also makes the bombs timer move up. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna leave Rat. Spooked. Dust Brigand, thanks for the tier one sub. Welcome. Cozy sub club. I'll draw exactly all five. Now we gotta discard three so that the cut through bait works. You can also just do Vigilance Perseverance this turn. That seems pretty reasonable. Let's take one more. I should be able to kill on this turn. One hopes. Good. Okay, first boss down. Not too much health lost. We do have a lizard tail, don't forget. Although I really, really would like to have this for the heart. Our next boss will be the Time Eater, who limits our number of cards each turn quite strictly. Another fight where being offered the bomb is quite nice. Definitely don't want to take mayhem. Just playing a random card each turn would be probably disastrous. Take a secret weapon? Sure. 
Okay, very happy to see Foresight turn one. Less happy to see some of this other stuff. If I play Carnage Signature Move, I'd have to play all three Miracles. That said, Carnage Signature Move is a pretty good turn. Can't seek for eruption reasonably here. Mayhem tries to play signature move and you've got attacks in your hand, then you're out of luck. The card will fail to play. Omni nailed it with 20 months, two metric years. All right, I'll play a lot of cards turn one, although I might regret it. Don't play the secret weapon. Don't. All right, there's a good use of our buffer. Let's discard the block stuff. This would be a good time to enter Wrath, I think. Joke. I don't want to have a conclude here. Beep. All right, we'd like to bring the time eater below half health on this turn if possible. Headbutt, yeah. Headbutt signature move. Ah, dang it! Wait, I guess I missed that there was one in the draw pile. I looked at my draw pile. I didn't see a signature move, but clearly there was one there. Whoops. That's funny. I was looking specifically for the signature move. Totally missed it. Doesn't seem to be here. <laughs> Must have blended in with the defense. I suppose so. All right. Let's get you below half health. Time meter. Jack of all trades, do you have anything important? I don't. Yes. That's even helpful. And the signature move is not helpful, but I'll play the madness. Keep that perseverance? I can. Good. I think I have a kill this turn. Things on eight, though. Trip signature move, headbutt perseverance. That might let me keep this Ambrosia. Keeping the Ambrosia for Act 4 is definitely a good idea. We could use the Ambrosia to get a kill here. I drink the Ambrosia, play signature move, headbutt the signature move, use secret weapon to get signature move back on uh, into our hand, and then play signature move a second time and win. But I think we can win this fight without using the Ambrosia, as long as I'm willing to lose a little bit of our health.
Oh, that's right. I can't play signature move before headbutt. You're right. But there's a second signature move in the discard pile, so I totally can. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. I am going to headbutt the other signature move. So what is it? Trip, headbutt, sig move, perseverance. Yes, that's it. No potion. Do perseverance first, because card counting. So we want Indignation signature moves only 120, but if I discard two defends, yeah, we're there. Let me draw exactly this hand. We go Indignation, Swift Strike, signature move, and uh, Judge that slug. GG. Potions successfully preserved. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt out the room is this, the heart of the spire, the source of judging enemies and then signing your name afterwards. You deal 2484 and advance into act four. The satisfaction. Wow, this has been a heck of a run. The source of all this sleepy Baylor. We're missing enough health. I think I'm going to rest here. We even get a card reward that might contain an upgraded card. So let's put this dream catcher to use. Uh, my, my usual advice is that it, it's often correct, especially if you ended the Act 3 with low health. It's often correct to rest going into Act 4 to top up that health. Cold snap plus. Very cute. Clothesline's actually decent. Consider a clothesline. I think Weaken is pretty good. Hmm. Can Judgment go through the heart's damage immunity? Yes. It's pretty cool. Hmm. I don't think I want another card, unfortunately. Maybe a weak potion? Ooh, maybe a Clockwork Souvenir to block Vulnerable from heart. That could be very helpful. If our buffer doesn't work out. If our buffer does work out, it won't do a dang thing, though. Uh, anchor to help preserve the buffer may be a bit more broadly useful. Over the souvenir. Also like the liquid memories in the dupe pots. Second jack of all trades is here. Spots chat. So we're trying to master the jack of all trades. That's an option. Honestly, though, I think we need to make sure that we are going to win the hard fight. And this deck is definitely set up to potentially not do that. So I don't want to push my luck too much. Makes me definitely want... Yeah, Spirit Shield also a nice block option. I'm just going to take the boat. What about second cut through fades? That seems like a good idea. Pretty good violence as well. Hmm. Secret technique before cut through fate? No, after cut through fate. Got foresight. We're attacking turn one. We have Captain's Wheel, so let's go for the Shear first, because we're getting some free block on turn three. Although if I'm vaulting, it's going to be free block on turn two. No, let's kill the shield first. Aha, I thought so. Okay. We got Jack of All Trades. Thinking Ahead Plus and Violence Plus. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now you're cooking with bacon. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking foresight, signature move, and vault this turn. If you wanted violence for the next turn. But I wanted to get that carnage out of my hand. Let's see what this is. 
Ragnarok Plus for free. Actually, Thunderclap's pretty good too, removing the artifact off both of them. Take that. I don't think Seeking Indignation would have been enough. Let's do it this way. Boop you and Bolt. Do this. Here we go. Is empty body in the draw pile. I have a lot of draws to get to it. Swim. Perfect. That's less perfect, though. We get 18 free block next turn, which is good. Uh, and I can at minimum have Perseverance Defend. Probably better than that. Works for me here. Really good turn. Yeah, I think we're going to get through. I probably might as well use the Fire Potion. though. Unless I uh, gamble, which I'm not going to do. Let's just take the block. Works for me. Beep that swim. I can even keep the fire potion if it's better than swift potion, which I don't think it is. Do not want streamline, flex, or barrage. Let's go. Ambrosia Swift Pot for the heart. Here we go, Twitch chat. Full health plus a lizard tail plus a weird deck. Who knows what it'll do for us. Discovery seems broadly good. I don't trust Panache or Metamorphosis to be worth it. This is not a de uh, not a fight where we get to play a lot of cards, owing, unfortunately, to the beat of death. This is definitely a turn where I'm happy to have the thingy. We are allowed to just callously enter Wrath if we want on turn one because I have the Ambrosia as an exit. Definitely makes this turn a little bit more interesting. I want to start this out. Locking is certainly going to be tricky, though. Hmm. Right, let's go Master Reality Discovery first. I want to know what's in here. Perseverance plus or a wheel kick plus. I'm gonna take that wheel kick. And yeah, we're gonna go eruption wheel kick. And we got a couple more cards. Foresight is definitely one of them. I don't think I get to play this for an influence because I'm gonna run out of block. And I don't want to lose the buffer. Put the Perseverance into my hands. Okay, so I can't play this, though, because if I play the Miracle, we lose the buffer. So we're done. No more cards may be played. Probably use Ambrosia next turn, but it's going to depend on the draws and whether we get buffer. Uh, and whether it's a big hit. It is not big hit first. That's pretty bad for us. Be able to make this work though. Ooh, I think I can. I think we can full block this turn, Twitch chat. 
I have to use the Ambrosia, but the Ambrosia gives me three more energy, so we can block for six times seven, which is 42. That alone is not enough. But I can do better. I can go Perseverance, Miracle, Miracle, Ambrosia, Reinforced Body. We are also allowed to use the Swift Potion, but I, uh, or the Master Strategy, but I think I'd rather not. So yeah, we took two damage from each card, so it's got to be Perseverance, Miracle Plus, Miracle Plus, Ambrosia, Reinforced Body. It's a full block. And then I actually do want a Master Strat, because, um, well, maybe I don't. Takes all my energy. Block. All right, and I do have potentially three more energy spent. Let's see what we can draw here. Just Judgment Vigilance. Not particularly worth it. Could potentially do a ton of damage with the Swift Potion now, but it could save my bacon later. I'm going to use it now. Getting more damage in is very important. It's not a lot, but it'll do. Do I Miracle Slimed? Yes. And then we have passive block from the boat thingy to make sure that I don't need to take exorbitant de uh, that I don't need to block before buffer works. What I'm trying to say. Need that sick move. Aha! Infinite? Mayhem? Hmm. Now that Buffer's gone, I don't think so, still, but maybe, actually. There's no end turn effects in this deck, right? I definitely don't want to draw the Mayhem again. Hmm. Hand Agreed's not a good find, though. And we're losing Buffer, so I don't care about that. Let's do it. Do I go Hand Agreed and Sig Move? No, because we might need this for the multi-block, right? I don't think I play this at all. Gonna be an upgraded steering blow. That's funny. I think the emulate though it does more damage. Hmm. Eruption, emulate vault, and then I get an extra turn. Let's do it. Perfect. We get to make heart vulnerable. And then exit wrath. You love to see it. Ow. And then there's no need to play forward influence because I've already capped on damage here. I actually prefer a different order of attacks here, but this is fine. Nice. Again, we want to just keep doing as much damage as possible. The Tori will reduce the damage here, so it's not particularly worth blocking for that much. We'd rather have the Perseverance to carry us through next turn. Looks like we're good here. It's looking great. Hollywood, thanks for 32 moons of support. 
heart is almost down. Ooh, the free wheel kick. Nice. You'll love to see it. You can say Sucker Punch won't do anything. Choke's better damage. And I think we should just keep doing the damage here. Wait a minute. 60. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> Not quite a judgment damage cap kill. No, because it goes to 50, right? Ish, yeah, not quite. So close to actually being able to do the thing, but uh, alas. <laughs> alas. All right, looking good. Let's go for kill. GG, Twitch chat. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.